What's going on guys, welcome to this video where we discuss the autonomous navigation for mobile robots. What you see now in the screen is a differential drive robot that calculates a path from point A to point B in an environment filled with obstacles and then follow this path to actually get to the goal. Now how can someone go about building such a system in Python? That my friend is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. But before this, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell, it's absolutely free and you can always change your mind. According to Peter Cork, in his book, robot navigation is the problem of guiding a robot towards a goal. However, this problem can be divided into several sub-problems like building a map of your environment, localizing yourself within this map, and using the map to plan a path from a start to a goal location. In the scope of this video, we only consider the path planning problem. This means that we will assume that we know where we are in the given map at all times. The rest of this video will be segmented as follows. In the first part, we will talk about the map and how to use it to achieve our goal. The second part is about the path planning method that we will use in order to find the solution for that path planning problem. The third and the last part is about programming all of this in Python and some of the implementation details that you have to pay attention to. So enough talking and let's jump right into it. Like all good adventures, our journey begins with a map. A map is a representation of the environment that the robot is operating in. Within this map, there is usually a number of obstacles with different shapes and sizes. Our job is to move through them in a way that guarantees our robot will not collide with any of them. In this project, we will consider this PNG picture to be our map and we will draw inside it a number of square obstacles generated in random locations. The planning algorithms usually consider the robot to be a point. This means that you don't consider the robot size and dimensions and this way may be a big problem in real life projects. To fix this, one solution is to inflate the obstacles at the beginning of the planning phase and then you deflate them back at the end. This will make sure you only make a path in the spaces that are big enough for your robot to move through. Another thing is to consider that this map is a picture and that means that the origin of uh, the reference frame is at the upper left corner of the screen, not at the lower left corner as you may think. Since we have a usable map now, let's turn our attention to the main problem of today's project, which is the path planning. To solve this problem, scientists developed a variety of algorithms. The A-star algorithm, for example, is one of the most famous ones, especially among beginners, since a lot of YouTube videos has been posted explaining the implementation of this algorithm. In this algorithm, a grid is first overlaid over the original map, and then the A-star search the graph that is embedded within this grid. Despite the fact that the A-star algorithm finds the optimal path to the goal, it is too expensive in large-scale environments because it needs to store all the cells of the grid in memory and this gets extremely inefficient as the number of the space dimensions and the resolution of the grid increases. However, there is another algorithm called the Rapidly Exploring Random Tree, aka the RRT. This algorithm solves this problem by avoiding the creation of a grid altogether and instead generate a random samples from the map and use them to grow a tree of possible paths in the free space. Until the tree reaches the goal, the algorithm keep connecting new random samples to the closest nodes in the tree, in condition that this connection do not collide with any of the obstacles. When the tree reaches the goal, the path is returned and the planning phase is complete. That being said, I made a tutorial on how to implement this algorithm, the link is in the description box below. And now it's time to talk about the actual implementation. I already made the detailed tutorials about the path planning and vehicle dynamics. If you want to learn more, just check them out 
The links are in the description box down below. To begin with, I built this simple environment using the Pygame module. A white background and on top of it, I draw the obstacles as black squares using a predefined size. Every one of these obstacles is a wrecked object made using these two methods. The first one just samples a random location from the map to be the upper left corner of our obstacle. And the other one makes a list of obstacles using the wrecked method providing the location and the dimensions. Once we have this list, we can do whatever we want with them, draw them, check for collisions and many more things. The robot is a PNG picture I made in Photoshop earlier. Its movement will be governed by the mathematical models of the differential drive robot. In fact, we need two models. The direct model will be used to control the movement of the robot using the desired linear and angular velocities as inputs. The inverse model will be used to give us these velocities when we give it the waypoints that we want to follow. So it turned out that the work of these methods is complementary. Alright, the robot now is ready to move, but we haven't provided any path for it to follow. This will be done autonomously using the RRT path planning algorithm. As you see now, the path is found and the waypoints are highlighted. All we have to do now is to feed them to our system. And of course it goes without saying that we have to deflate the obstacles back to their original size and the robot is ready to follow the path. You can see that the movement of the robot seems ironically to be robotic. And that is because when you give it a waypoint, its speed starts at a certain value, but it decreases as the distance between the robot and the waypoint gets closer and closer. An obvious solution in this case is to increase the amount of waypoints as you, see, you can see here, this can be done using interpolation and the result movement is very smooth. As you can see now, we have a fully autonomous agent that navigates its environment, plan a path and follow it to reach its destination. Before we finish this video, make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. Thank you for your support. I hope this was an informative video. I'll see you again in another video with a new idea. Until then, stay safe and goodbye.